Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, let's export AutoCAD DWG drawing to JPEG and PNG together. So you are going to learn how to export uh, AutoCAD drawing just like what you are seeing on the screen. So this is a survey pan and um, you will learn how to export it to uh, JPEG or PNG directly from AutoCAD. So this is the same plan that was exported. So you can see and uh, you can see the extension here is .png and also I have here the .jpeg that is the jpg just like what you can see. So we are going to learn how to do that together in the course of this video. So I'm just going to delete that. Okay. Then here, this is the AutoCAD DWG drawing. So aside of exporting or printing as PDF, you can also export as JPEG or PNG directly, depending on your interest. Therefore, to export to JPEG or PNG, you click on the plot icon here. So if you have been making use of the plot model before now, you are going to see the previous option, previous plot, but then you don't need to click on that, okay? So the next thing to do is to come to your under your printer slash plotter come to the name here click on the drop down here then you scroll down okay scroll down to publish to web jpg so this is the jpeg export tool here so you click on that to export to jpeg so you can see this is jpeg group therefore you now navigate down to paper size click on the drop down here so you are going to see different paper size and their pixels so the higher the pixel the clearer the image is going to turn out to be all right so we have the first user here based on what i've been using so far i've been making use of this first user option this 1115.00 multiplied by 17 to 3 pixels all right this gives me a better resolution this particular option gives me a better resolution so it's unlike this one that is 480 you can see it's lower pixel okay. so depending on the format you want to export so if you are printing on portrait you you make sure you go with this first option however if you are exporting as a landscape you go with this second option so you click on this first option if you want to export to portrait uh, template all right so you can see the preview here after you choose that Therefore, you set it as portrait here. Okay. After that, you uncheck this fit to paper so that you can, you know, align it to center. Okay. Then you check this center, the plot. So you are going to see this red icon that shows that it is not yet well aligned. All right. So there's no cause for alarm. You just need to come to the plot area, click on the display drop down, then scroll down to windows. You click on that. Then you define the extent you want to uh, export as a JPEG. Okay, so that way, after you do that, you do that, just make it zoom to the preview window here. You click on this fit to paper, then you'll check it, all right? So when you do that, you can now approximate this, okay? So the idea is that if you are exporting to JPEG, you are not actually printing to scale, okay? If you are exporting to JPEG or PNG, you are not printing to scale. So you approximate this to 0 0.1. If your plan is on 1 to 500, okay? So that is the best one. And you can see from the preview it has center and it is well you know situated in between the plots all right so the next thing now is to come to the shaded view port options okay the shaded plots leave it as as displayed why the quality click on the drop down and click on maximum so this is going to increase the dpi that is the resolution of the raster image which is jpeg in this uh case all right so you make it maximum and you are going to see it increase to the highest all right then you can now come to preview to preview your drawing you click on continue and you can just see it it is very sharp and it is good to go all right so if you are comfortable with these settings you can now click on the plot icon and it's going to export that to jpeg you can see it so you can rename this i'm just going to call this bracket jpeg so you define the folder where you want it to go then you save it there so that is that for jpeg so the same procedure goes for png so you click on the plot icon above you scroll down to this printer slope plotter then you scroll down this time around to publish to web png you click on that option 
then you click on the drop down here so you can define the resolution of your choice and lower resolutions just check for the best resolutions based on your interest so i will go with this okay since i am printing to a uh, portrait format so you select that last option then you click on the drop down here click on window then you define the extent you want to export as png after that you click on portrait then since the fit to paper is still checked you can center the plot then uncheck it all right same way you approximate this to 0.1 for it to be well aligned within the plots okay so when you do that you see it's changed okay then the next thing is to come to quality here make it maximum and after that you can go ahead to preview then you click on continue okay so when you are comfortable with all these settings all right then you can now click on plot icon to export so this time around i'm going to call this bracket png all right so you can see the files of type here then you click on save after you are done exporting both for jpeg here and png you can go ahead to view to see the resolution of your drawing all right so you can see the resolution still remains so good and uh, intact this is for jpeg and this is for png okay so this is very nice and it is good to go all right so you can send to whoever you want to send it to or insert it into your report easily if you find this video helpful and informative do well to hit on the subscribe icon and turn on your notification to keep getting valuable tips freely thank you see you in the next video